Maybe not the number of alcoholics, but the number of the population. Hey guys, it's Jesse from Fall Off the Map, and uh, today we are in Tacoma, Washington. What should the uh, world know about Tacoma? Nothing. It should be kept a secret. We don't want the world here. What should the world know about Tacoma? What? What should the world know about Tacoma? Oh, I don't, I don't know. If you could tell the world anything about Tacoma, what would you say? I don't know, man. I've lived here for like a year now. You know, pretty sweet place. Cool. I mean, uh, it's kind of a lot like LA. Really? You know, where I grew up. Well, I mean, in some ways, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cruising around. I just kind of get that LA feel, you know. So, Galen. Yeah. What should the world know about Tacoma? Um. Shit. A heart's in the right place, but we don't give an inch, and it's kind of like herpes. Can't get rid of it. We always keep coming back, like certain people I'm looking at. <laughs> True that. <laughs> I'm really trying to make uh, don't give an inch become uh, Tacoma's catchphrase. It beats City of Destiny. Yeah, or Grid City. I just like it as like a motto, not even like the saying of, uh, I don't know, I just, you know, like, don't give an inch. What should the world know about Tacoma? <laughs> not a lot today. Not a lot today. That's good news from you. <laughs> There's a hole in my heart that's like a crater. And they say it's going to be the death of me. This land will belong to you and me. A lot of people Tacoma is like Seattle's little brother or something. Yeah. And, I mean, for instance, I work in Seattle and I just bought a house in Tacoma. The jobs are in Seattle, but I can afford a house in Tacoma. here with my friend Noah um, at his shop he recently purchased. Uh, this is the Steampunk Vapory. And uh, oh, lounge, right. Vapory Lounge, Lounge Vapory. So uh, he's, uh, he's gonna tell us a little bit about his shop and uh, I've been walking around the place with him. Really cool spot in Tacoma. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think the video speaks for itself, but uh, Noah's gonna talk to us a, a second about sure. what he's got going on here. This is sort of a ambush style interview, but I've known Jesse pretty much my whole life here. Um, yeah, it's really simple. It's a uh, e-cig shop, vape lounge, we sell beer and wine. And cider. And cider, that's right. Is that video also? He's recording video right now. Really? It's amazing how they can do that with that little thing like oh, that, you know? Hours of it. Oh, okay. Wait, 30 years over there, you probably have a bunch of really cool stories. I think I'm about writing a book. Oh man, it smells like asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody go in there for 45, 45 minutes. Well, you know you got a problem if it stinks when you take a piss. <laughs> yeah. I wish you guys sold five years. Park in front of the Dominican Dominican house and act like cops, right? And then they would intend, so then they'd freak out and they'd intimidate him or whatever, and then he would fucking rob him. He told me the story of literally waking up in the passenger seat of a car, getting shot at, not knowing the guy driving, has no idea where he is. All of a sudden he's conscious and he's like, whose side am I on? And he's just like, start shooting. Like, <laughs> do me a favor, don't use any names for this uh, little piece of video. 
Have I so far? No. Not since yeah. I hit record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, dude. Just literally, you should get his story, honestly. Like, that's like, and tell it in an honest, kind way. You know what I mean? Like, that would be great for him and for us. Because, yeah, like, we all love fucking. I mean, that guy. That, that, that guy. <laughs> It's raining cats and dogs outside, so I've decided to stop into the Seymour Conservatory. famous bridge of glass which connects downtown Tacoma to the waterfront on the Pia Foss waterway and the Tacoma Glass Museum. beautiful Puget Sound, also known as the Salish Sea. A five mile drive to Point Defiance Park. Owens Beach and Port Nusqually. This is Salmon Beach. It's a little uh, community hidden between Point Defiance Park and the Narrows Bridge. So I'm at second cycle, and uh, I've got my bike in. I need to fix one of my uh, shifters. This is a cool spot. If you're gonna go to a bike shop in town, rather than going to one of the for-profit bike shops, uh, I encourage you to visit Second Cycle. It's a, it's a non-profit, 
um, does a lot of good work in the community, does a lot of uh, outreach to get bikes into uh, the hands of kids, and uh, they will, instead of just fixing your bike for you, you've got the option for them to uh, work with you and show you how to fix your bike. Say anything about the shop or anything about the company? Yeah, um, well, I moved here about eight years ago, I guess. Um, oh, shit! Man. I mean, you're from here, you know. That's when I that's when I lived in town. Yeah, so there was one yeah. coffee shop. Blackwater. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's actually where this project was born because yeah. I just moved here, wanted to use bike parts, and you know it was one of the only people I saw riding a bike in this town. Right. Um, Talk to him and, and started this place out of a basement. Wow. So we're doing a lot better than we were when we first started. Cool. About, I think we had a cool hundred dollars starting budget. Yeah. You know, and uh, now sometimes make that in a day. Yeah. Well, I think we mostly did it through working for free for a very long time. Um, there's a new mountain bike park in town. Dope. It's right over in Swamp Creek. Oh, okay. Which that park is also sort of. Mirroring the development of the city, you know, they have like a little forest there now. Awesome. And they've got, uh, yeah, the mountain bike park, and they're starting to do like sort of like road races there. And uh, before we go, what do I, what do I owe you? Uh, I don't know, it's like two bucks for this, and then I'll just really install on three bucks for the table. So I guess yes. 22 bucks. Awesome. I appreciate it. What should the world know about Tacoma? Sixth Avenue? Yeah. That business district? Yeah. Anything else? What, what do you love about Tacoma? Well, everybody's kind here. Everybody's really nice. Yeah? What do you not like about Tacoma? Yeah? And it's not San Francisco. It's not San Francisco. This is true. Yeah? Again, I have it when I got back here. So, I mean, she'll, she'll be okay. Jesse, what's up, buddy? What's happening? It's been a long time no see. Chasing the bubble. Chasing. Come on, bubble. So, can I uh, put you on video since I am? Yeah, awesome, awesome. Be the first time. Awesome. Wouldn't be the first time. What you working on? Um, a sign a repair missing the exclamation point. So now it's just get in there, get in here. I should say, get in here, as opposed to it will be get in here. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever for? Hey, are you are you are you going to Chernobyl? This is a cool tool to have. You got a shop, but I also uh, I make a lot of uranium tubing. Oh, yeah. very attractive. Well, I can't. I haven't quite figured out what's going on. You got a guy here, Hunter, but you don't. You know what? Generally, when you buy these on the used market, I didn't buy it. Uh, <laughs> Jason, the daughter of the owner of Sanford and Son. On Antique Row. Gifted you a Geiger counter. She said, oh, we got a bunch of these Geiger counters and you'd be interested. And I was like, hell yeah. She goes, well, just go take one and um, I know you got cool stuff. You know, just bring something down that you think so, you know, relatable and uh, thank you. So you're bartering for a Geiger counter. I didn't. She just said, take one home and bring me back something if you feel like it. At some point, whenever we just met too, but she knew me. But uh, yeah, it came from uh, the, some sort of high school teacher, science teacher, but I can't get it to jump. 
I figure out what's going on with the power or why the power is something. Perhaps the problem is that nothing in here is radioactive enough. Well, no, it has a check circuit thing where then it'll take the needle. And uh, so somehow it's just not getting power. <laughs> Back a little bit. Kind of. uh, that was... And maybe back a little bit. No, this thing is no, three no. times stronger electric chair. Okay. So you need some fresh beets, is what you're saying. That These two uh, hot dogs are my favorite. <laughs> I love new hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. So when I don't have enough resistance in the tube or too much resistance in the tube, it'll uh, short over there, and it'll tell me to either put air in the tube or take some air out. What you got in your mouth then? Well, I'm gonna hook up to the tube. The whole flow is glass after that. You can all make it for me a tube I didn't fucking break a bone. I didn't break like nothing. Like my, my little, my, my little, my little five-year-old bones bent, they flattened out, like pancake style, and bounced back up. But are fast. Oh, there's. Look at all those keys. One. You're making music, dude. Work jam session. It's official. It's on tape. It's recorded. Work. Well, I just tried to stop in Fries and Burgers, my favorite uh, burger joint in Tacoma, but apparently they're closed on Sundays. So I stopped by the uh, New Frontier, had myself a quick drink, and uh, I'm still searching for food. So next stop, Top of Tacoma. These are the blackened prawn tacos. This is pretty much my standby, what I always order when I'm in town. So this is the top of the coma. A little loud in here. Uh, this is my favorite bar and uh, really one of my favorite restaurants also in Tacoma. Um, when I was last in town, I came in here on a Sunday night. It was pretty quiet, but. Business has been good. This place is popping.
What should the world know about Tacoma? Uh, you don't get this in Bellevue! <laughs> Sun and lift you to the moon. 